So once we've found the expansions of these, it's now time to find for which values of x they are valid for. Okay? So in this first case, I had 1 plus x times 1 plus 3x to the minus 2. Now, the 1 plus x is valid for all values of x. Okay? It doesn't matter what values of x I substitute into that, okay? because it's already expanded. So that's perfectly fine. The values that I need to be careful of, however, is this 1 plus 3x to the minus 2. So I know that this can only be valid when we have mod x is less than 1. And so that means that we have mod of 3x is less than 1, which is the same as mod of x being less than 1 third, dividing through by 3. And so that is what I'm looking for here. So x must be between minus a third and a third for this to give you um, correct values. Now for number two. Now for this one, okay, we actually have two binomial expansions, both of which have a separate uh, range of validity. So this one has mod x is less than 1. And this one has mod x, as we just found, is less than a third. Okay? So the way to consider uh, which one is correct is to look at a number line. Okay? So here is 0. And then here is minus 1. And here is 1. Let's get some uh, different colours for this, I think. So, for this, so let's say this one here, okay? Then this works for any value between minus 1 and 1. For mod x is less than 1 third, well, 1 third is approximately there, uh, minus a third and 1 third. So, minus a third and one third. And so that one is valid for any value between minus a third and a third. Now, this has got to work for any value of x that I plug in. Okay? There's no point me putting in a value like x is 0 0.8, because even though 0.8 will work for this one. It doesn't work for that one. So it's got to be a value for which it works for both. So ultimately, the range of values for which this is valid is actually just this. Okay? It is the, um, it's the inequality where the number on the right-hand side, as long as they're both mod x, is less than, it's the number on the right-hand side which is the smaller, okay? It is that one that is actually the range of validity, okay, for this whole fraction. Because we need to have the numbers being put in need to work for both. So we're looking for where they overlap, okay? So that's how you deal with a problem like that.